Stateful widgets are great and all, but they come with a lot of boilerplate code when dealing with controllers, like text editing controllers, animation controllers, scroll controllers, and more. To showcase this, let's build a basic form in Flutter using a stateful widget. We want our text form field to have an initial value, so that means we need to remember to first instantiate a text editing controller, and then dispose of the controller to avoid memory leaks. To check if the form is valid, you have to instantiate a global key for the form, and assign it as the form key. Then we're able to validate the form by accessing the form key's current state and calling validate. Let's toss in a state variable called content and display it above our text form field, making sure it changes whenever the text form field's unchanged fires. This doesn't look too bad, but remember we only have one text editing controller. Imagine this form had three, five, or even ten fields. We'd have to remember to instantiate and dispose of each controller individually. However, Thanks to the Flutter hooks package, we can reduce this boilerplate down to one line. Let's make a new widget called hooks form that extends a hook widget. First, we create our form key using use memoized, a hook that caches the instance of our key for future use. Next, we make our text controller using use text editing controller. It handles the instantiation and disposal of the text editing controller automatically, which means we get to worry about one less thing while building our awesome apps. Finally, we'll add a use state hook to store our content string. Let's paste our previous code from the old form and fix the names of our variables accordingly. And now our form has less code and is working perfectly. So now you're probably thinking that this is cool and all, but you want to run code as soon as the widget is inserted into the widget tree, like how init state does. Luckily, there's a hook for that. In the build method, we can add use effect and add an effect callback. This callback is called synchronously on every build, which means if we don't add any keys, it will always fire when the widget rebuilds. If we want it to act like init state, then specify an empty list for the keys. And if we want the callback to fire only when specific values change, then we can add them to the list. This can be super useful in cases where you're dealing with subscribing to and canceling a subscription to a stream. There's a lot of reusable hooks that are included in the Flutter hooks package, and you can find out more info on the package page. You can even write your own hooks for custom functionality and easy code reuse throughout your projects. And I'm going to wrap this video up here. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.